welcome to our live wire today. Uh, my name is Abby Minasali. I'm a product marketing manager here at SignaWire. I have been working from anywhere my entire career. I've been with the company since its inception. And I'm so excited to show you more about our uh, product sidebar conversations today. Let's see, a quick agenda. Um, we're going to be going over what a sidebar conversation is, uh, why they're important, how to use them. And then of course, we're going to be doing a live demo and I'm going to give everyone a chance to test it out for themselves. Um, and of course, as always, we'll have a little bit of a bonus trick at the end, a little bit of a live wire special. And we're also going to be giving out a $50 gift card at the end of this. So be sure to stick around through our demo if you're interested in getting uh, drawn for that. Um, for those of you who haven't been to our live wires before, this is a monthly series where we talk about the in-depth workings of SignalWire work and SignalWire events, uh, where we'll explain to you all of our new features, show you how to use them, go through some tips and tricks, and just overall helping you explore the platform. Um, of course, if there's anything that you'd be interested in learning, uh, we do these every month, sometimes more than once a month. So there will be a survey at the end where you can tell us uh, some suggestions you might have for features you want to learn about or things you're interested in. So a sidebar conversation is an innovative way to break out and collaborate with your team, but you never have to leave the room. Uh, they allow you to start private conversations with select team, team members all within the same room. So sidebar conversations are a little bit similar to the concept of a breakout room that you may already be familiar with, except you never actually have to open a new room or schedule a new meeting. You can do everything from within the same room. And the members of a sidebar cannot be heard by the rest of their room. All of their videos will be grayed out. So for those of you familiar with our Do Not Disturb feature here at Sigma Wire Work, it's a little bit similar, but you're all in Do Not Disturb together, so to speak. Um, a room can also have multiple side conversations open with multiple users. So there can be as many side conversations open in a room as you want, and you can add whoever you want into your sidebar conversations. It's easy to add and remove uh, users. So if for some reason you forgot to add somebody and they may be relevant to the conversation, it's easy to add them. Um, and participants can also request to join a sidebar if they are uh, not initially in that original sidebar. Uh, why are sidebar conversations important? Uh, sidebar conversations make it really easy to break off from larger groups and collaborate without the hassle of leaving or creating rooms. Sidebars make it really easy to quickly solve problems with team members without disrupting the energy of the room. So for example, let's say we're all in the sales room and we're doing a sales meeting that we do every Monday where we give everybody updates on our on our leads. And I have a really, really quick question for Shafali, and it is urgent and it cannot wait. I could send her a Slack message and hope she sees it and answers me right away. I can send her an email and she probably won't see it for an hour and probably won't answer me right away. I could open up a new room and drag her over there with me so we miss the rest of the meeting. Or I could quickly start a sidebar conversation called urgent meeting with Shafali, invite her to it all within the same sales room. Uh, the rest of the sales team can go through with their sync so we're not interrupting anything, but I can quickly ask Shafali my question right there in person, get that answered, get all my problems solved and go right back to the sync. So it's a really useful tool uh, for collaboration because your team is easy to get a hold of. Uh, we're working in the office all day uh, without having to move around into different rooms. That way, you know, for example, to find me in the product marketing room. If I want to have a private conversation, I don't have to leave. People will know where I am and they can wait for me to be done with my conversations rather than me having to hop around different rooms all day. Um, it's also going to help our teams increase productivity by keeping our meetings focused and on track because we're only really talking to the people who need to be in that conversation. And we're avoiding distracting the rest of the room with a quick or private discussion. How many times in real life or virtual have we, uh, have we been in a meeting where somebody starts discussing something that has nothing to do with us and the, the meeting gets completely off track and we can't focus and we have to move rooms so that we can focus on our work instead of talking about you know, the, the project that maybe you're not involved in. So this is a great way to keep productivity up by only involving the people who need to be there. 
And it's also going to increase our efficiency because it's going to help us solve problems much quicker because we're not going to need to take the time to schedule separate meetings, open new rooms, all to solve these quick and easy problems. Um, so of course, the most fun part, how to use sidebar conversations. I'm going to walk us through it using some screenshots, but afterwards I will share my screen and show you a live demonstration. Um, but sidebar conversations are so easy to use. Uh, you won't see it on this instance, but we will take you over to a different instance to, sh to show off our feature. But there is going to be a sidebar icon at the bottom of your screen. Uh, you can see it in my screenshot here. Um, once we open or once we click on the sidebar icon, it's going to open a menu. This will allow you to name your sidebar conversation and choose which participants you would like to invite. So the participants available will be everybody in that room. Um, you can check who you'd like to invite. They will have to accept your invitation in order to be um, brought into the sidebar. And every, every participant in the sidebar is actually going to have a matching colored border around their video. So that's how everyone will know who's talking to who. So once you see these grayed out videos, let's say they both have a green border around them. I know that Shafali and Marissa both have a green border. They're both talking to each other. Um, to add new members to a sidebar once you've already started it is super easy, both as a member of that, of that sidebar and an outside member who'd like to join. So if you're already a member of this sidebar and let's say, oh, Shafali and I are having a meeting, but I need to ask Marissa a quick question because she's the only person who can help us. So I can open that participant menu at the top right. Um, if you are not familiar with the participant menu, we do have our recorded live wires up on YouTube. So check us out on Sig at SignalWire on YouTube. Uh, so open up that participant menu and all of your sidebar conversations are actually going to be displayed right there. So that's going to display all of the open sidebar conversations in a room. Once again, you, there's an, an unlimited amount of sidebars that you can have open. Um, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. Everyone can be in a sidebar if they want to be. Uh, we're going to click that little pencil icon and we're going to add or remove participants simply by checking them and then clicking edit sidebar. Again, they're going to be uh, given a pop-up notification that says, would you like to join this sidebar? And they either can accept or decline. Now let's say that Shafali and Marissa are having a sidebar conversation and it looks like they're having so much fun and I really want to join. Um, all you have to do is identify the sidebar conversation that you'd like to join. And in this screenshot, you can see that there's a join button over Sharon's grayed out video. So all you have to do is click on that join button. It's going to knock on all of their doors and say, Abby would like to jo join the, si the sidebar conversation. And then they can either accept or decline that invitation. Only one member of that sidebar needs to accept you for you to be accepted. Um, it's a, a community decision. So anybody in that sidebar can accept you because they'll, they'll all get that notification. Um, so it's super easy to join that way. And another fun trick about these sidebar conversations is just like in a real office, you can have your door open or closed. You can hear noise coming in from outside in common areas, things like that. You can actually adjust the ambient noise that comes into your sidebar conversation from the rest of the room. So there's a sliding bar right at the top, as you can see in my screenshot image right there. Um, once it's all the way down, it's going to be completely private in there. There's no background noise. It's just like it's its own room within a room almost. But as you slide that bar up and down, uh, the noise and the the talking from the rest of the room will actually be heard in, t in this room. So that way you can keep track of what everybody else is doing, or you could keep it private and heads down by keeping it perfectly silent. All right, so I'm going to demo some of this. Just share my screen. Let me see. Um, and I'm going to share my screen in just a second and join my room over in our instance that we use for work every day. And your screen, Chrome tab. Here we go. 
All right. So this is our instance. This is my room. Big fan of the WandaVision. We can talk about that in the Q&A if anyone else is a big fan. But as you can see right down here with all of our other room controls, we can see this create sidebar button. Once I create create a sidebar, by the way, admins and moderators both can start a sidebar and you will be able to invite anybody into this sidebar. So I give it a sidebar name. We'll say today's demo. I'm going to name it demo. And then we can find users right here. Right now, the only user in here is me because I'm the only one in this room. But uh, if I wanted to invite myself, we just click that box. If Shafali was in this room, she would be listed here as well. I would click her checkbox and I say start sidebar. Oh, it looks like Shafali is in here. So let's say I want to add Shafali into my sidebar. It's a little lame with just me. So I go to the participant menu in the top right. And as you can see, I have this blue border around my video. And there's also a blue border around this demo sidebar conversation in the participant menu. If I want to edit it, I click this pencil icon and I can say, hey, I really want Shafali to join this. And I think Chelsea could help me with this problem as well. Um, let's see. And we're going to edit sidebar and it's going to send her an invitation. Let's see. So Chelsea has now joined. Uh, welcome, Chelsea, to my sidebar. And you can see that she also has a blue border around her video. Now, let's say Shafali wanted. To, oh, look, Shafali wants to join. She must have knocked on my door. And I say, let's allow her in. <laughs> so now, as you can see, Shafali is in here as well. We all have these matching blue borders. Um, and that's how you can tell we're all in this conversation together. Thank There's you. No I was having a little bit of FOMO there. I know. <laughs> yes. What you don't want. <laughs> well, when you're not in a sidebar conversation, the side effect may be a bit of FOMO. But if we have FOMO, we can always adjust this room volume slider so we can hear what everybody else is doing in the background. Wonderful. Okay, and that's it for this demo. So I'll stop sharing my screen. Um, really quickly, I have a bonus trick for you. I always have bonus tricks up my sleeve. So today's Livewire is all about having these private conversations, making sure our collaboration is up and we are efficient with our time. Um, but let's say we want to have a private conversation, but for some reason we want our own room. We do want a separate room, a breakout room, so to speak. Uh, temporary rooms are another great solution to host spontaneous private conversations. So a temporary room is just like how it sounds. It's a room that you can create on the fly that will exist for as long as people are in it. So as soon as everyone leaves, the room will disappear, but they're super easy to make. So all you have to do is go to the home screen to that dialer. You can also find it in the room navigator. Um, and once you're at the dialer, instead of searching for a room name you already know exists, all you have to do is type in a room name you'd like to exist. So anything your heart desires, you can call it marketing breakout, event breakout, and click enter and that room will actually automatically be created with you in it. From there, you can invite people with the link, same as you would any other room. And the second that everybody leaves, that room disappears. So that's just another great way to, to kind of have those concept of breakout rooms, a private room where you can break away really quickly and easily from a group conversation into a more private conversation.